Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get a brand new version of the Brave web browser for desktop. Version 1.57, which was also made available on the 15th of August, which was late yesterday in my region. Now with version 1.57, like most version upgrades, we get a good couple of um, new little minor features, add-ons, changes and improvements. And um, starting with the Brave Rewards, there's a new user interface for the flyout. As we can see, it uh, has a bit of a, a change when it comes to the look and feel of the UI. This estimated earnings used to be much bigger here to the right hand side. And I think it looks a lot better. I think it looks a little bit more minimal and a lot less cluttered. So uh, Rewards now has a new user interface and flow as Brave is calling it. And they've also added support for forget by default browsing mode. Now, the forget by default browsing mode is a feature I did post on when it was still in preview back in May. And I'll leave a link to that video down below because it will just give you a lot more information. But quick recap, it basically allows you to always clear cookies and other storage when the site is closed. So if you want more info about uh, forget by default, just go check that video out. And they've also added the ability to resize the sidebar uh, in the desktop browser, which I think has been a long time coming and is a nice move, as I would say. And they've also added the ability for older versions of Mac OS uh, to dismiss the end of support message um, on both Mac OS 10.13 and 10.14. So if you are using the browser on those older Mac OS versions, you can now dismiss those end of support messages. Uh, they've also improved scrolling for vertical tabs if you are using the vertical tabs feature and they've moved improve search suggestions so for this we have to head over to our settings and this will be under the search engine and they've now uh, moved improve search suggestions to be under brave search um, in the settings so here we can see improve search suggestions and obviously you can toggle that on and off to improve your search suggestions in the browser which has a new home now in the search engine page. Moving on to the next, um, they've updated the VPN toolbar button style and we can see that toolbar button has received a bit of an upgrade. Uh, it's got a bit of a new user interface and adjustment so all Brave says about that is they've updated the VPN toolbar button style as mentioned. And then they've also rolled out a couple of fixes. Um, about six fixes have rolled out, which are always good, which just brings stability and performance and bug fixes to uh, the browser. And um, they've also fixed incorrect VPN button state when credentials are refreshed. So if you are using the uh, VPN and firewall, that is a nice fix rolling out. And there's just a couple of other minor fixes that have, that have rolled out. And while we are talking about the um, toolbar, Something else I have noticed is that the extensions button has also received a bit of an upgrade and it's now transparent and has a hollow center where previously that was not the case. Now this may be region specific because it's not mentioned in the release notes but just a small adjustment uh, for that actual toolbar icon and button um, where it now has a, a kind of transparent and hollow center. Now, as always, to double check if you have this latest up update, because we also are dealing with important security fixes that have rolled out uh, for the Chromium project, which the browser is based on. As always, to double check, we head to our main menu about Brave. And this process will force the update if it hasn't done so already. As mentioned, the browser version is now sitting on 1.57.47. And the Chromium engine bumped up to 116.0.5845.96, which once again is exactly the same Chromium engine now as Google Chrome, which means that Brave also gets the same security fixes that have rolled out also on the 15th of August for Google Chrome, which include 26 security fixes in total. And out of those 26 security fixes, eight are high risk, which is your second highest ranked vulnerability. And most of those high-risk vulnerabilities that have been fixed um, are common exploits in the Chromium-based web browsers like use after free, inappropriate implementation, type confusion in the V8 JavaScript, 
engine heat buffer overflow and so on so just double check uh, your browser is up to date to patch that chromium engine which the browser is based on and with those all important security fixes now once again as always with these major version upgrades we get a lot and plenty of web3 um, improvements when it comes to the crypto side and the wallet side of the browser now for these we're just going to head over to our release notes because there are far too many to mention for the purpose of this video else we will be here all day and as you can see web3 has received numerous add-ons fixes and um, updates and improvements and just to mention one or two when it does come to the web3 they've improved the brave wallet panel performance and something else they have fixed the slow brave wallet panel load time so two important fixes rolling out for brave wallet panel performance and panel load time but if you are interested in the web3 improvements just click on that version which will take you over to the release notes where you can just check and all those improvements and fixes out so that's more or less what's rolled out now with version 1.57 with chrome 116 which is the latest major version upgrade for the brave web browser for desktop so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one